Hello students, welcome to anansaronline.com. Today we will be doing SAT and area enclosed by lines. See, to find the area enclosed by lines on a coordinate plane, what all you required is, number one, you required the y-intercept of the line or lines. Number two, you require the x-intercept. And number three, you require the point of intersection of the two lines. See, to find y-intercept, what we do, we put x equal to zero in the equation. To find x-intercept, we put y equal to zero in the equation. And to see to find the point of intersection of two lines, we can use any of these two methods, either substitution or elimination. Let us do a few questions. Now see in this question, we are given a line y equal to mx plus four, which is intersecting the y-axis at point P and x-axis at point R. And area of this triangle POR is equal to six. Find the value of f. See, so first of all, to find the area, what was the requirement? We need to find the y-intercept and the x-intercept, right? So first of all, to find the y-intercept, I put x equal to zero in this equation. I get y equals to four. So the y-intercept we can write zero comma four. Now, what about the x-intercept? To find the x-intercept, we need to put y equal to zero. So if I put y equal to zero, I get mx plus four equal to zero. It means I will get x equals to minus 4 over m. So this point is minus 4 over m comma 0. Now from here we know that if we have y-intercept as 4, it means that length OP is equals to 4 and length OR, x-intercept is minus 4 over m. So we write OR as minus 4 over m. Now area of triangle POR is half times OP times OR, half times OR times OP, which is equal to six. It means half times minus four over M times four equals six. So you can cancel these two. You can cancel these two. From here we get minus four equals to three M. Simply means M equals to minus four over three. Now in this question, we are given two lines, y equal to x minus two and y equals to eight minus x, which are intersecting the y-axis at R and S respectively. And we need to find the area of this triangle RST. So to find the area, we require the y-intercept of the two lines and this point of intersection T. So to point, find the point of intersection of these two lines, what we do, we simply equate these two lines because both of are equal at this particular point. So I write x minus 2 equals 8 minus x. It means 2x equals 10. So x is equal to 5. Now when x is 5, plug in, in any equation, we get the value of y as 5 minus 2 or 8 minus 5, both if you 3. So this particular point comes out to be 5 comma 3. Now for point R, put x equal to 0 in this equation, we get this point as 0 minus 2. And for point S, we put x equal to 0 in this equation, we get 0 comma 8. Therefore, Rs is equal to, what is Rs? It is 2 units below the origin and 8 units above the origin. So this line segment is 8 plus 2 means 10 units. Now we require the height of this triangle. The height of this triangle is, say T, say point M. So now what is the X coordinate of this point T? It is five. So the height of this triangle will be five. It means MT is equals to five units. Now area will be half times RS times MT means half times 10 times 5. So the answer is 25 square units.
Now, next topic is distance between two points. And the distance between two points, what we do, we just draw two lines, one parallel to the x-axis and another parallel to y-axis. So this is clear that this particular point of intersection will be a 90 degree angle. Let us place this point as R. Now see what, what is length of PR? It is, see this point is x2, it means this is x2. And if this point is x1, so this will be also be x1. So the distance PR is x2 minus x1. Similarly, here it is y1 and this point is y2. So this particular distance will be y2 minus y1. Now we were supposed to find the distance between the two points say PQ. So PQ will be equals to under root of PR square plus QR square. I hope you people know what is Pythagoras theorem. So using Pythagoras theorem we can write this. And now PR is x2 minus x1. So it becomes x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. And this is the required formula. Now see in this question it is given that the distance between these two points is 13. What is A minus B whole square? So here we see that applying distance formula we can write B minus A whole square plus 8 minus 3 whole square equals 13. It implies B minus A whole square and this 8 minus 3 gives you 5 square that is 25 equals 169. I have just squared both sides. It implies B minus A whole square will be equal to 169 minus 25 which is 144. It implies, now see, A minus B whole square and B minus A whole square. These both are equal. So here we can write in place of B minus A whole square, we can write A minus B whole square and that comes out to be 144. Now here we need to find the midpoint of line segment PQ whose coordinates are X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. So here the formula is to find X which is the coordinate of M. We have to add the two coordinates of X in P and Q and divide it by two. Similarly, to find Y, we can write Y1 plus Y2 over two. So this is the midpoint formula. Now see this question is based on midpoint formula. It is given that a point 6, 2 is the midpoint of these two points. We need to find A plus B. So let us see, midpoint formula says that we have to add these two coordinates, divide it by 2 to get the midpoint, that is the x coordinate of the midpoint, find the y coordinate, we simply add these two, 2b and a, so 2b plus a over 2 equals to 2. Now let us simplify further, we get a minus b equals to 12, and here I get a plus 2b equals to so now we can simply solve them. How to solve them? Just write, rewrite the two equations a plus 2b equals to 4, a minus b equals to 12. Just subtract. When I subtract, a will be cancelled out. We get 3b equals to minus 8, means b equals to minus 8 over 3. Now plug in in any equation, let us plug in in equation number 1, we get a minus minus 8 by 3 equals 12. It implies we get a plus 8 by 3 equals to 12. So we get a equals 12 minus 8 by 3. That is 36 minus 8 which is 28 by 3. 
Therefore, A plus B, which is the final requirement, it is 28 over 3 plus minus 8 over 3. So it comes out to be 20 over 3. So students, hope you have enjoyed this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.